7 biggest mistakes first-time buyers make when buying cars at corporate and insurance or auction. Hi everyone, my name is Andrei Ivanov and for the last 15 years I've been buying salvage cars at salvage auto auctions. For the last 5 years my company CarsFromWest.com purchased over 12,000 cars for my clients. So I know all in and outs of the auctions and I want to go over the biggest mistakes that I see first-time buyers make. So we're going to start with the first one. It's called staged car. And you might think, what is a staged car? Instead of just ex trying to explain you, let me show you one picture. As the saying goes, one picture worth thousand words. Do you see 2017 Lexus GX460? It was for sale at corporate auto auction. 92,000 miles, it had partial repair, run and drive, normal wear, nothing is wrong with the car, right? But that's exactly what I call a stage car. Because sometime before, it was like that. <laughs> and you probably is like, no way, that's not the same car. But unfortunately, that's exactly the same car. Every car has unique VIN number right here you can copy it and let's go to the other one and we're gonna search for it you see it matches so the VIN number is the same the car is the same the only difference this car was before and this car is after so what do you get here you get like a stage car when it looks cosmetically good from the outside but shitty inside it's pretty piece of junk you know when you open the hood when you try to drive there are gonna be issue on the issue these cars like that you don't buy it you know to restore it these cars you buy for parts only and when somebody tries to beat on this car and I see it I'm like please please stop don't make this costly mistake just don't do it but that's the biggest mistake. It looks good, but then, you know, you need to check its history. And you think, okay, I'll run Carfax for this car, but Carfax does not work for salvage cars. But there are two services that I usually use, and I wanna share it with you because I don't want you to make this mistake. It's a VIN doctor and autostat.com. Autostat.com gathers information from public sources like salvage auto auctions and you can see the whole history so originally it was sold on the february 23rd of 2022 for eight thousand six hundred dollars that's the condition of the car okay and then later they tried to sell it multiple times until they sold it twenty thousand dollars so guys somebody purchased this car for twenty thousand dollars just unbelievable also you can go to vin doctor insert the VIN number and click check VIN. You're gonna get very good report, the National Motor Vehicle Title Information System, the same information that goes into Carfax, you can get it on VDoctor. It, it will show you all the accidents, it will show you all the photos, it's gonna show you all the problems, you know, how many listings it had, how many owners, how many odometer statements, and so on. It's only $7.99, and that's the best investment you're gonna do if you wanna purchase the car at salvage or auction next wrong documents and you're like oh, what do you mean wrong documents every car comes with a title right no it doesn't work the same way at salvage auto auctions you know when you go to a used car dealer or you go to a new car dealer or you deal with private party you assume you're gonna get a title right so that's the document for the car but when you work directly with salvage auto auctions there are variety of documents it can come with. It can come with a clean title, salvage title, bill of sale, non-repairables, junk receipts, um, scrap titles, uh, title of destructions, and many other. There are like hundreds of different titles. And some titles are okay to be registered in the United States. Some are okay for export only. And some, you know, like you cannot do anything. That's just like... Um, you know, the car is for parts only. Let's take a look at this 2012 Dodge Charger. It's for sale at corporate, right? Looking good, beautiful car. It's a SRT8, 6.4 liter engine, beautiful, red interior, but it comes with bill of sale right here, parts 
only, so you won't be able to register this car. Looks beautiful, but check the title. Florida Certificate of Destruction. You won't be able to register it in the United States. But it's not only corporate. Same with insurance auto auction. This is theft recovery vehicle in California, but the title is non-repairable, so you won't be able to register it. This is one of the most common mistake I see. First time buyers don't pay attention to the title. So they assume it's either clean or salvage. And when they got the car and they got the paperwork, they go to DMV and the DMV tells them you can register this car if it's for parts only. And that's exactly what happened to Alex in 2016. I still remember his call. He purchased a very expensive truck and he said he cannot register it. Can I help him? The only help he could get, he could sell the car and lose lots of money. So don't make this mistake. Always check for documents. Number three, no damages. As we saw in the previous example, 2017, if you see the car is in decent shape, no damages. Question it, why is that, right? Because every car, of course, is different. And there are rock cars without damages at the salvage auto auction, which are actually good. But good damages, it's a theft recovery. If it's vandalism, it's a hell damage. And if it's a minor rare end damage, like this 2015 Kia Optima. You know, it shows like a very minor rare damage. You can put the bumper back and the car is good to go. Next, number four, I buy it myself. I'm smart, I've searched copper.com, I search insurance auto auction, I can buy it myself. But there is one thing first time buyers never think about. If I go to insurance auto auction, and search for every vehicle out there. There are 281,295 vehicles. Almost 300,000 vehicles out there. But if you, a public person, you can check who can buy and available to public 15,484 cars. So guys, total cars 281,000. For public buyers, there are only 15,000 cars. You can bid for 5.5% and 94.5% of all cars, good cars, you cannot bid. Corporate, same thing. It has over 276,000 cars. And out of those for public buyers, 51,000 cars. So you can bid on 18.6%. 83% you cannot beat. And guys, the best cars are for dealers only, so you won't be able to buy yourself. Number five, high fees. And what do I mean by high fees? Let's just take a look at $5,000 final bid, and you wanna buy public at insurance or auction. The fees that auction is gonna charge you on this purchase, $5,000 car, is gonna be $750. When you buy it through the broker or licensed dealer at insurance auto auctions, it's gonna be $525. So you get a $225 difference. But if you buy a $15,000 car, okay, your final bid is $15,000. When you buy public at insurance auto auction, this, the fee is gonna be $2,250. When you buy it with a broker, you pay only $650. That's a whooping difference of $1,650. You can go to insurance or auction, you can find the fees for the licensed buyers and for the non-licensed buyers and check it for yourself. And if you go to insurance or auction and you scroll all the way down and you click this find a broker, you're gonna find the list of all brokers you can use. And if you scroll a little bit, you'll find Cars West LLC. That's my company. So we're a licensed broker of insurance or auction. So you can trust us with your purchase. Number six, logistics. That can be a tricky one. Recently, we got a guy who purchased the car and he asked us, can we ship this vehicle from Hawaii to his location? And his location was zip code 28546. Believe it or not, he purchased the car, but he didn't check where the car located but it was in Hawaii, Honolulu. And Hawaii, Honolulu, it's somewhere in Pacific Ocean. So we tried to help the guy, okay? So the ocean freight, around $1850 to $2,000. And then from Los Angeles, 
where you ship it to, you need to do ground shipping for another whooping $1850 to $2000. So total logistic cost estimate at $3700. The time frame is 5 weeks and it's actually twice the price of the car and he paid only $1450. So when you're looking at the car, make sure you know where the car located and calculate the cost upfront. Finally, number 7, insane bids. And what I mean by insane bids, when you see the car you like, every car has the price. And it's not, guys, $100. That's a screenshot from the dashboard. You know, we get these bids all the time. There are cars that go for sale for $2,000, $500, $1,000, $3,000, $15,000, and we see very often you try to beat $100. Guys, please pay attention. Every car has a price. It's based on damage ratio, it's based on title, and it's based on exclusivity. And when you see 2018 Dodge Ram 1500 with no major damage, and you try to beat $100, are you insane? This car was sold for $17,100 of that's 41% of retail value. But look at Dodge Ram, guys, and look at $100. You know, I know you want to get like a very amazing deal, but unfortunately, it doesn't work this way. If you want to become a Salvage Auto Auction Jedi, I have an offer for you. I have a Salvage Auto Hacker Framework that I created based on my experience. And usually the regular price I charge is over $1,000. I have a promo price of just $47. So you get the Auto Hacker Framework. You're going to learn how to search, how to research the car, what price to pay, how to inspect, and how to buy. I'm also going to include three cool bonuses, algorithm to calculate salvage car price, list of all documents to avoid, you can check which documents are good and which documents are bad. And also I'm going to share my top tools to use to buy salvage that I use daily. And I offer a 30 day 100% money back guarantee. So again, the total value is over $1,000. But today, since you watched my presentation, I make offer you cannot resist, only $47. So please click the link below and I'll see you in my course.